Hey there guys, welcome back, hope we're all doing well, it's is Jaden here from Double Cube, and I'm back again today with another video. And this video is a roundup of all the new features released by the Adobe XD team for Adobe XD for the month of December 2017. For those of you who don't know what this is, Adobe, the Adobe XD team releases a monthly update every month packing new features, all requested by users like us, and we have around 10 to 11 features I guess to cover up in this video, pretty cool stuff, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so here I'm in Adobe XD in a blank document and before we get started, uh, if you guys are interested to learn all about Adobe XD, I have a master course down below in the description for free, you can watch that on YouTube, it's an 18 part video talking everything about Adobe XD and about UI and UX and things like that. So if you guys are interested, do definitely check that out, I also have other similar tutorials, links in the description. Alright, so let's talk about the first feature. So the first feature with the Adobe XD team was pretty excited about is the underlining text. So if I go to my text tool. And then I'm gonna come over here and then just type Adobe XD. All right, and then I can just scale this up a little bit. All right, and uh, if I come over here in the text properties, I can click on it to underline, and there you go, we have underlining text. And uh, the best part about the underlining text is if I go ahead and say something like uh, party, all right, uh, the letter Y is basically has a descender, so anything below the baseline is a descender, and the stroke is gonna get cut to make way for the descender so that it looks pretty cool. And the shortcut uh, for, for this is Control U on the PC and Command U on the Mac. Okay, so the next feature is the stroke alignment. So this is something that has been highly requested again. So if I select this rectangle or a square that I've created, I can go and set this to say something like 50 for the stroke out, which is also called the border. And I have three different options, which is the inner stroke, and then we have the outer stroke, and then we have the middle stroke. All right, so the path is in the middle and the same as ones that happen in Illustrator, uh, right? So if I, I can even change the radius of this and it's gonna automatically update. Okay, moving on to our next feature, this is a very small update. So if you go to the prototype section over here, you can also use the shortcut control and the tab key or the command and the tab key to switch between the design and the prototype mode. And we have the zoom tool over here, which is available now in the prototype mode, which was not available earlier. Okay, now I'm back in the design um, uh, mode and if I select the letter, uh, this is a cool integration. So if I, if I hover over the font, you can see we have a new shortcut that is a control shift and the left, I'm sorry, control shift and the greater than or the lesser than sign, which is gonna increase or decrease the size of the text. Uh, as you can see by one point. So uh, that's a very, very neat handy thing when you're working with smaller sized uh, screens for the apps that you're trying to create. Okay, so now I'm back into the prototype mode and uh, this time we have a view, a few publishing um, enhancements to the prototype section. Uh, so for example, I just have this prototype, I'm just gonna click on this and create a very quick prototype. So there you go, we have a quick prototype. And if I just uh, play this, uh, let's actually select this, okay and uh, then let's play it, we have a simple prototype, okay? And I can select this and put this back again, we have another prototype, right? Yeah, quick prototype, all right. So if I go to publish prototype, we're gonna get uh, three options. So one is to allow comments, which I think was earlier available. And the second one is open in full screen. Let me check that, check that on. And then the third one is gonna be show hotspot hints. I'm gonna check that on as well. I'm gonna explain that next once I explain uh, open in full screen. I'm gonna go ahead and click on create public link. And so now once the link has been created, I'm just going to click on open link. All right, and we have our prototype open up in the screen. And now as you can see, this is completely in full screen. And uh, it's mainly to ensure that the user focuses directly on what is there, uh, making sure that he doesn't focus on anywhere else and get distracted. So I can click on it. And there you go, we have our prototype. And there you go. Now, if I go ahead and click somewhere else on the screen, you can see you get this um, blue color box, which is basically hints. And that's what happens uh, when you turn on show hint, uh, hotspot hints. But if you turn that off and you click, it's not gonna show anything. And this is useful when you're performing user testing to test out whether your UI is working well, uh, which enables a user to ensure where you can observe the user as to what he's clicking and what he's tapping on without giving him hints as to what is clickable and what is not. So that's very useful when performing user testing. Now, if you wanna get out of this full screen mode, all you have to do is press the escape key and boom, you're back again. And then you can go ahead and if you want, you can also click on this button to go back into full screen mode and escape to come back out. All right, so the next feature is something related to the comment section. So if you click on show comments, 
what you can do is you can add comments. So when you share this link to somebody else, they can give in feedback. So I'm just, so I'm just gonna say, uh, this is uh, good, all right? And uh, I can also click on pin to artboard and I can pin it by the way I want, which was an earlier update. But anyways, I can, when I select this and press enter, that's automatically gonna go ahead and submit that uh, comment for me. But what if I wanted to, you know, send like a big paragraph with multiple points? Uh, for example, if I say uh, one, uh, change the font, all right? And uh, if I press enter, that's gonna submit it. But this cool integration, this new feature is where you can hold on shift and press enter and that's gonna create a new line for you. And then I can say, uh, change uh, the color. And then when I press hit, when I hit enter now, then that's when it's gonna go ahead and submit it. So that's again, we're pretty cool. Okay, moving on to the next feature is related to design specs. Now design specs was a new feature that was released last uh, uh, month, which is for the November and uh, and a lot of people liked it and they're pretty happy that uh, Adobe XD finally put this out for their product and uh, they made a little bit of announcements. So let's check it out. So if I go to publish design specs, I can click on create public link, which is gonna create a link for me again. And then I can click on open link and it's gonna open up this in the browser for me. Now the new feature is that they're gonna be small uh, kind of tips that pop out explaining the user or the developer as to how to navigate uh, to work around and it, uh, and it looks also more organized and they have increased the onboard experience of this as well. So if I go ahead and click on a prototype, that's gonna load up all the information and uh, you can see a couple of tips that kind of pop out for you. It's gonna give all the information that a developer needs to develop the app. Now the other thing uh, about this is now Adobe XD, uh, the design specs also now supports all the languages that Adobe XD supports. So I think is there in Korean and I think German, I'm not sure the other languages, but in, in the November update, it was available only in English. And now it's available for all the other languages Adobe XD supports, uh, but that does not mean that it supports all the languages in the world. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Okay, uh, we have two more, two more features to check out and this is my personal favorite feature in this update. So if I go to my CC libraries, and um, I have this, you know, this object over here, which is like a green circle, which I synced in from Photoshop. As you can see, it says Photoshop. And I'm gonna just take this and drag that out like so. Let's actually move this over to the side. Let's go into our design section, all right? And I'm gonna hold on Alt and make a copy of this. Now, as you can see, if I click on this, we see we get uh, this um, link and this green color border. And for this one, it's gonna be the same. And I'm just gonna click on that to unlink it, all right? So this is with the link and this is without link. Now. Here's the fun part. So if I go to um, CC libraries, uh, let's bring that up and I'm gonna right click and choose on edit. That's gonna take me to Photoshop and that's gonna open it up right over here. All right, pretty cool. Uh, this is like a real time update. And then if I go to my properties and probably if I go change this to something like a blue color and I just have to press control S and what that's gonna do is that's gonna automatically link it, uh, you know, update it in my CC library. And as you can see, it's linking it right now. And once it's done, I can go back to Adobe XD and if I open up my libraries, where's my library? As you can see, it's taking some time to update and boom, it's automatically been updated. Sorry for the slow internet. Something's wrong with my Wi-Fi anyway. Um, so there you go, it automatically updates, but this one does not update because it was not linked. Now if I right click and choose undo, un, uh, undo unlink graphic, then it's gonna make it linked again and it's automatically going to get updated based on the graphic that I have. So this is one of my most favorite features, which is real-time integration uh, between Photoshop and Adobe XD. Now the last feature is about the integration between Adobe Stock and Adobe XD, just like we had Adobe XD and Photoshop. But this is something that I really can't kind of show you just because of the fact that Adobe uh, and Adobe Stock kind of doesn't run in my country or something. I'm not able to purchase a license or whatever it is. Uh, not sure why that is the case, but all I can do for you to explain is just read this out and kind of explain what's happening over here. So when using unlicensed Adobe Stock content in XD, all right, so you're using some uh, unlicensed Adobe Stock content, as you can see, that's the watermark. All you have to do is right click from the CC library windows. So just like this, I can right click and there's gonna option which is gonna say license. And when I click on that, it's gonna take me to the Adobe Stock website. And then I can click on buy license, as you can see right over here. And then all the instances of all the assets that were used everywhere are going to be updated immediately. So that's pretty much it on all the new features Adobe XD team released for the month of December 2017 for Adobe XD. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, just make sure to leave a like. 
Drop a link in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And if you want to get in touch with me, you can uh, send me a message on Twitter or Instagram. Or you can drop me an email and I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.